Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to review the most interesting and unique lens I've ever seen, which is the, wait a second. Ooh, yeah. Oh my God. What do we have here? Oof. What is this? A toothpick? This, my friends, is the Lova 24mm f14 macro probe lens. The reason why you want to take a closer look at this lens is because you can get some really interesting b-roll shots with it. Now, I borrowed this lens from a good friend to test it out so that you can see how it performs in action. Now, I have a bunch of stuff laying around here that we can use to shoot some great b-roll sequence. Now, let's see how this baby performs in action. All right, now that you have a good idea of how awesome this lens really is, let's talk about it a little bit more. The Laova 24 millimeter probe lens is fully compatible with full frame cameras. It feels good when holding it in my hands and has a solid metal design to it. Now there is no autofocus on this lens, meaning that you have to focus manually. Also, the aperture can only be controlled on the lens and not on the camera. Now, focusing on this lens works pretty well and I don't find it too hard to find focus even with its small aperture. What's really impressive is that you can focus to infinite, meaning that everything that is in the frame will be in focus no matter how distant it is to your lens. So you can capture some awesome wide angle video as well as super macro shots. So you have everything in one. What really stands out from the other lenses is the design. I mean, look at it. The traditional macro lens usually have longer focal lengths and focus distance to really keep you away from the subject, which can be good for not having shadows in your shots, but also not scaring away insects. But with this lens, you can really get into action, achieving a unique perspective. Now, people will notice when you shoot with the 40 centimeter probe lens, and it could be mistaken for a barrel of a gun, but the reason why it's built that way is because of the two to one magnification. This way you can have your subject much larger in frame and the focus length of 24 millimeter gives you that bug eye perspective. Another great feature I really like is the built-in LED light, which you can power using a portable battery. I think this is a great idea and can be very effective for illuminating places that is hard to reach. Now, because it's so long, I find it difficult to transport it into my bag. It doesn't really fit properly and takes away a lot of the space. I prefer transporting the lens with the metal case that is included. Even though the lens is certainly large, it doesn't weigh that much. It's around 474 grams. Now, in terms of image quality, I find it overall really good. For video, the 24 millimeter produces a very pleasing look and gives a cinematic feel to it. I love how you can get really close to the subject subject and maintain sharp focus. Because this is a dark lens, you do lose a few stops of exposure because of the length of the barrel. In many cases, I had to shoot the video with an ISO as high as 3200. Shooting at an f14, which is the maximum aperture, allows you to have a shallow depth of field than usual macro lenses. But keep in mind that it will need a lot of light to compensate for the reduced light hitting the sensor. A great feature the lens has is that the front barrel is is waterproof, which is great for beverage commercials or shooting in water general. Now you can't put the whole length into the water because of the USB input, which is used to powering the small built-in LED light. So keep in mind to not go beyond that. Now here are some things I came up with when shooting video with this lens. Shoot in a log picture profile or raw. This is the best way to retain the shadow details. Don't use the crop factor because this way you will lose that wide angle macro. 
always try and shoot full frame with this lens. Shoot at 60 or 120 frames per second to slow down your footage. This not only looks great for creating speed ramps, but also increases the stability of your video in post. If you're in a studio, use powerful studio lights. If you're planning on shooting outside, take a small video light with you so that you can properly place it in front of the barrel, combining it with the ring light for good video lighting. Use a tripod or a slider to increase the stability of your video. If necessary, increase the ISO. This can really help you get a better image. If you're shooting on a Sony, pushing the ISO up to 3200 should not be a big issue. If you can, use an external monitor or activate focus peaking in your camera so that you can really see what's in focus. So overall, the Laova 24mm f14 Pro lens is priced at around 1,500 bucks. I think this lens is really unique. Uh, I really had fun using it and it's really great to be able to capture wide angle to super macro video all in one. It produces a really nice image quality and it's especially great for shooting products. The thing I don't like about this lens is that it's difficult to take with you on shoots and also the small aperture can make it a little bit difficult to shoot in low light situations. That's about it guys, I'm very happy with this lens. I will definitely not give this lens back to my friend, just don't tell him. But yeah, if you like this video, then leave a thumbs up and let me know what you think of the probe lens. Follow me on Instagram at Bennett Grazer. And if you're interested in other lenses, I have a couple of reviews that I have done in the past that will certainly help you find the right lens. So make sure to check out these two videos right here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, stay creative, and I will see you in the next video.